Hey everyone, it's Ali and I'm back. Today we will be discussing a high yield topic, which is vaccination. There are many vaccinations, but what we will be discussing today are the top high yield vaccinations that are usually tested on USMLE step one, step two, and your pediatric shelf exam. When I was taking my pediatric shelf exam, I did not want to spend so much time studying and like trying to memorize all the vaccinations. And at the same time, I did not want to watch an hour long video. So I just wanted straight to the point, what's going to let me answer those extra points on the exam and make sure that I get them right. I'm going to ma be making this video, which is going to be short and straight to the point. I'm going to be covering the most high yield vaccinations that will be tested on exam. So you have to know these eight points. So from point one to point eight, if you have these, if you have this mnemonic memorized, you could answer any question and I guarantee you, you will get every question on your shelf exam, USMLE step one, USMLE step two, correct. So it's going to be B, which is for newborn, to be Dr. Hip, two is two months, and we'll be discussing what every letter resembles. For Dr. Hip, which is in four months, B, Dr. Hip in six months, one mad HPV, which is in one year, very dim four to six, which is the range from four years old to six years old, Tada human men, 11 to 12, 11 years old to 12 years old, 16 to 18 men. The way I go with this, I made sure before my exam, I had these eight points memorized. And I started, and, and I, I know which every, what every letter resembles. So B for newborn, which is hepatitis B. We vaccinate all newborns. When they're first born, we give them a hepatitis B vaccinations. So B is for hepatitis B. To be Dr. Hip, basically during two months, we give them hepatitis B. D tap, which is D is for D tap. R is for rotavirus. H is for Hib. I is for IPV, which is polio virus, and P is for pneumococcal. So we have B to be Dr. Hip. The third one is for Dr. Hip. At age four months, we give them DTAP, rotavirus, Hip, IPV, and pneumococcal. B Dr. Hip in six months. At age six months, we give them hepatitis B, DTAP, rotavirus, Hip, IPV, pneumococcal, and influenza. One mad HPV at age one years old, which is usually, that's the age we administer live attenuated vaccines. So M is for MMR, A is for hepatitis A, D again is for DTAP, H is for HIB, P is for pneumococcal, and V is for varicella. Very dim, four to six, ages four to six years old, they receive var varicella, which is very, D is for DTAP, I is for IPV, and M is for MMR. Tada, human men 11 to 12 years. Tada is the TDAP. Human is the HPV. Men is meningococcal. 16 to 18 men, that's when you also give them another dose of meningococcal. So if you have these eight points down, you will be able to answer 99% of any question you get on the exam. So I just have it memorized. I know which, what each letter resembles, which vaccine, and I have those eight points. B, to be Dr. Hip, for Dr. Hip, B, Dr. Hip in six months, one mad HPV, very dim, four to six, Tada, human men, 11 to 12, 16, 18 men. I'm going to be talking about some specific things about each vaccination that are also, that usually come on the exam, such as the hepatitis B, we administer that for newborns, so B for hepatitis B. Usually, like if they tell you in the vignette that you have an infected mother, infected mothers usually can uh, pass the infection to the newborn, which leads to chronic hepatitis B. So if the mother is known to be a hepatitis B carrier, the newborn should receive a hepatitis B vaccination, and that's for active immunization, and a hepatitis B immunoglobulin, that's for passive immunization. So anytime in the vignette they tell you you have a mother that has hepatitis B, the, the newborn is at risk for chronic hepatitis B, 
so they should receive a hepatitis B vaccination and hepatitis B immunoglobulin. Those are high yield things about hepatitis B. And just like a, a different way, I also remember uh, how to memorize hepatitis B and when to administer it. So hepatitis B is usually three doses. B, again, is for born, so at birth. B is the second letter in the alphabet, uh, in the alphabets. So B is the second letter, which resembles two months. And B, the, if the small letter B looks like six, so six months. So born, two months, six months. For the MMR vaccine, uh, it's a live attenuated vaccine. And we mentioned that usually we give it uh, at age one years old. MMR, so that's measles, mumps, rubella. Measles are known for like the four C's. So cough, choriza, which is inflammation of the mucous membranes inside the nose, complex spots, so it's like a K, but like we try to like spell it as a C just so we can say the four C's. The complex spots are basically white spots that happen uh, inside your cheeks and conjunctivitis, that's your fourth C. Mumps is it's always, always related to parotiditis, which is inflammation of your parotid gland and orchitis. And orchitis may lead to infertility. So keep that in the back of your mind. Rubella, usually congenital rubella, you see in the vignette like sensorineural hearing loss, cataracts, and PDA. The next vaccine is Versala. Versala is a live attenuated vaccine and usually we give that to prevent chickenpox. DTAP, which is diphtheria, tetanus, and acellular pertussis. Diphtheria, in the vignette, they'll tell you somebody with pharyngitis and gray white matter in the membranes. Tetanus, uh, which causes muscle spasm, trismus, which is a lock locked jaw. Uh, acellular pertussis is anytime they tell you like a whooping cough or post to, uh, or like they tell you like in the vignette that this child's been coughing, coughing to a point where they're starting to vomit or they have this long, prolonged cough. Think about a cellular pertussis, which is usually prevented with, uh, with DTAP. Hib, which is Haemophilus influenza type B, could cause epiglottitis, which usually presents with a sore throat, fever, and strider. Pneumococcal PCV13, which is streptococcus uh, pneumonia, uh, that's usually uh, presents with pneumonia, meningitis, and otitis media. Rotavirus vaccine, uh, so sometimes I don't know why they love asking this question. Usually uh, the only contraindication for a rotavirus vaccine is if the patient has a history of intussusception. And finally, influenza virus vaccine, that's usually given annually to children more than or equal to six months. So the way I memorize it that like, so vaccine influenza, VI, vaccine influenza, VI6. So six months or more. I remember getting a lot of questions where like they would tell you this patient and they'll give you like a vignette and they'll tell you what vaccine should we administer. And after you look at all the options that you have, whether it's too early to administer that vaccine or it's contraindicated because they tell you they have a history of rotavirus or whatsoever. And like we got a lot of questions that the answer was influenza virus. Thank you guys for listening to this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this was helpful. If so, please, please subscribe to my channel. That helps me a lot and helps the channel to grow and for me to come here and make more and more videos. Hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for upcoming videos. Thank you guys.